subscribe to bisbo and press the bell icon see boring news turn into enjoyable stories in the late 1930s pandit jawalan nehru ran into deep debt national herald the newspaper he launched in 1938 with the masthead freedom is in peril defend it with all your might was used as a tool to convey the thoughts of india's freedom fighters in its bid for independence Pandit Nehru too occasionally wrote op-eds venting out his feelings. These were the days Nehru was sidelined from the Congress and Subhash Chandra Bose became president, defeating Mahatma Gandhi's candidate. Censored by the British who often confiscated the entire print run, Nehru was even ready to sell his house at one stage to pay salaries. I will not let the National Herald close down even if I have to sell my family home in Allahabad. Once famously complaining about his lack of business acumen, हमें बनिया गिरी नहीं आई एन ऑब्वियस रेफरेंस टू अदर नेशनलिस्ट न्यूज पेपर लाइक हिंदुस्तान टाइम्स विच वॉज रन सक्सेसफुली बाई बिजनेस मैन जी डी बिरला द नेशनल हेरल्ड मीन वाइल हैड नो स्ट्रॉन्ग फाइनेंशियल बैकिंग एक्सेप्ट फॉर फाइव थाउजेंड फ्रीडम फाइटर्स हु ईज पुट इन मनी टू बिकम शेयर होल्डर्स ऑफ द न्यूज पेपर विच नॉट ओनली सर्वाइव द ब्रिटिश राज इज क्लैम डाउन ऑन द इंडियन प्रेस फॉलोइंग द क्विट इंडिया रेजोल्यूशन ऑफ ऑगस्ट नाइनटीन फोर्टी टू बट ऑल्सो कंटिन्यू टू पब्लिश आफ्टर इंडिपेंडेंस What was kept alive with so much passion by Nehru was in 2008 unceremoniously shut down by his great grandson Rahul Gandhi. By then its circulation had dropped to 5000 copies a day and their shareholders to 1057. However, during the final decade before closure to keep the paper running, the Congress party gave it unsecured interest-free loans worth 90.25 crore. to National Herald's parent company Associated Journals Limited in a normal case when a company winds up the company's assets are sold to pay off debts however it did not do so in this case despite having assets worth at least 800 crore spread across Mumbai Delhi Lucknow Patna and Panchkula in Haryana Delhi's Herald House itself has 10000 square meters of office space easily worth more than 90 crore But that did not happen. Instead, two years after it stopped publishing in 2010, a company called Young Indian Limited was incorporated by two Gandhi family loyalists, Suman Dubey and Sam Petroda. A month later, Rahul and Sonia Gandhi were inducted and given 38% each in the new company, while Dubey and Petroda exited. Once the Gandhis were in place, the new company Young Indian paid the Congress Party 50 lakh rupees. and took over the 90 crore loan given to national herald's parent associated journals which meant that national herald now owed the new company 90 crores instead of owing the congress immediately thereafter national herald transferred its entire equity to young indian in a stroke of a pen the debt was wiped clean and assets were transferred to a company owned by the gandhis everything would have gone unnoticed at friend turn for bjp mp subramaniam swami not filed a case of wrongdoing they paid only 50 lakh rupees for these assets worth 800 crore in 2014 the metropolitan magistrate also castigated the congress young indian limited was created as a sham or a cloak to convert public money for personal use the ed however found no wrongdoing and closed the case in jan 2015 but it was reopened months later in august of the same year After Swami wrote to Prime Minister Modi casting as Persians on ED director Rajan Katoch who was thereafter discharged from his duties Later in 2015 the Patiala House Court granted bail to Sonia and Rahul in the National Herald case However their plea of quashing the case was rejected by the Supreme Court in Feb 2016 Two prominent shareholders of AGL, former Law Minister Shanti Bhushan and former Chief Justice of Allahabad and Madras High Court Makrande Karju, both of whom held shares by virtue of their fathers, allege, "My father Vishwamitra held shares of AGL. I was not informed about the transfer of assets. If so, it is a breach of the Companies Act." However, the Congress's lawyer refutes this allegation. "We sent a notice to every shareholder of AGL and we have all the records." Adding interestingly, Nobody objected except Swami who is not a shareholder since Swami is not a shareholder technically he has no right to file a case unless under public interest and the angle of a public interest was found on the grounds that the government allotted lands to AGL at a nominal price in 1962 specifically to run a press surrounded by controversy in June 2017 
Rahul Gandhi relaunched the print edition of the National Herald as a weekly and later in digital form. In all probability, this was done to protect the properties that were given to them specifically to run the newspaper. But the centre in November 2018 anyway decided to end the 55-year-old perpetual lease and evict AGL from the Herald House premises. However, the Supreme Court stayed any action for the time being. The case is interestingly poised. If the transaction is found legal, Rahul Gandhi may have to pay the IT department tax on his 38% holding of young Indian assets. If not found legal, then he faces charges of fraud. Of course, he can challenge the IT order and possibly win too, as the gain did not occur to the Gandhis personally. As both Associated Journal and Young Indian are incorporated as non-profit organization under Section 25 of the Companies Act 1913 and 1956 respectively, the sole objective of which is to promote specified activities. The company is not allowed to sell their assets and distribute the proceeds to their shareholders, nor give any dividend or salary to them either. So while the Gandhis don't seem to be gaining anything tangible. Why this roundabout way to do things? This is a strange case of money laundering where no money is involved. The Enforcement Directorate, however, provisionally attached a portion of the National Herald's nine-story building in Mumbai's plush Bandra, worth 16.38 crore, and is questioning whether the one crore loan Young Indian took from a nondescript Kolkata company was a hawala entry. A claim P Chidambaram, who represents the Gandhis, refutes. They took one crore by check and returned the one crore by check. However, without a scheduled offence being registered against the Gandhis, can the ED even get involved? Whatever happens here on, this is an entirely avoidable issue for the Gandhis, and has further spoiled their image in the eyes of the public. Bizbo's Limerick. There was once a paper that Nehru had started to keep it running, even his house he almost parted. But now his heirs believe its assets to be theirs, though technically speaking, such a proposition is unsupported. You will also find these sources listed in our video description section.